At first glance, CNC machine tending robots seem to all be about the same. But once you start looking deeper, you'll find that the differences are night and day. This is the first of an eight-part video series that was created to help machine shop leaders who are new to exploring CNC machine tending robots. It's also for those who bought the wrong robot the first time and are now trying to remedy that situation. The place to start is a look at raw and finished parts management. These are the six key questions you'll need to ask because getting the right robot for your operation starts right here. Number one, how big is the parts table? Size matters. Why does it matter? Question number two, how many parts can be placed on the table? Number three, how do you optimize the parts so you can run more parts in the job before reloading? Number four, are there options for the parts table? And if so, what are they? For example, is there a powered table option? Is there nesting for pieces that have a unique shape and size? Question number five, what other options are available? Number six, look at efficiency of placement. What's the impact of constantly opening and closing drawers to access the parts? And how many parts can fit in those drawers? You'll have this robot for at least 15 years or longer. So these questions are the first step in getting the right robot for your operation. There are big differences in robots. There are also a lot of small differences that add up. Think about drops of rain. A few drops don't really matter. Get a bucket full of rain and that can have an impact. To learn more about purpose-built machine tending robots, visit our website. Or you can call us at 866-952-9020 and then press 1 to start the conversation. RoboJob USA, first in CNC automation.